This video will show you how to use custom map fields in Dubsado. Dubsado is a client management platform, and I also have a ton of videos on my CMS playlist about uh, HoneyBook, Dubsado, and 17 Hats, which are three of the top players in this game for creative entrepreneurs. I'm Lainey of Design by Lainey. I like to teach creative entrepreneurs how to make money. And one of my favorite ways to make money is by using a client management system to save you time and save you brain power, honestly. It also saves me a ton of money, actually, because I can keep everything in one place. So I'm not forgetting little details on my client's orders and I know where to find everything when I need it. So you might know about canned emails in Dubsado. You might know about some of the features we're gonna uh, look at today. So I'm gonna just act as if I'm typing a new canned email response. And you, you've probably seen before that you can use these smart fields. So you can go in and say client first name so that the email automatically will say, hi Lainey, if that's a client name. And then you can say, you know, whatever you want, but it's always going to fill in what the client's name is in this email. So you can create a canned response and put it in a workflow so it automatically sends, you can put a, a smart field into a questionnaire that you're gonna send over. You can do all kinds of things. So it's a great way, if you use map fields, it's a great way to look like you're really personalizing the service without taking the time to do it. But you've only got so many options, you know? It's not too crazy, project, a few things. So what if you want to add some of your own things that are particular to your business? That's where custom map fields come in. So we're gonna go up to settings and custom map fields, yay. You can do a client field that will follow the client from project to project or a project field that will only apply for that project. So for instance, I'm gonna do venue because I'm a wedding uh, stationary designer, so that's really helpful to me. But if I have the client being the, the event planner and I was gonna have a different venue for every client I worked with with them, then I might wanna make it just a project filter. So we'll go with client right now, we'll create it. We'll type in venue name, and it can either be a date where they pick a date or a short answer. Those are your only options right now. We'll go with short answer because they're gonna fill this in. And you'll click save. That's pretty much it. So then when you go over to any of your forms, you can do, for instance, we were in canned email earlier, so you can say, hi, can't wait for your wedding at you go into smart field client because we did a client map field. You can also do project and we'll type in venue name. So then whatever the client has filled in for their venue name will automatically go in there. So if I send this email three days after their wedding that says, hey, I loved seeing the pictures of your wedding at venue name and I put that in my workflow, it'll automatically change that for every client I send it to. But how do you get them to fill it out? That's really the only tricky part to any of this is that whatever you have in your workflow using the map field, you have to map it first. You have to get them to fill it out first. So you can do this in a lead capture, a questionnaire, in your contract, in your sub agreement. You can really do it anywhere, but you just need them to fill it out before you then try to use it because if they haven't typed in the venue name and you use it as a field, it's just gonna come up blank. So for instance, in your lead capture, you might just add a short answer. And when you click there, you would say, what's your venue name? I usually require it because I know that I'm gonna use the map field and I need them to make sure they answer it. And then when you go to maps too, because you've created those, you have to create them first. Because you've created them, they're options. So that will map to venue name. So whatever the client puts in here when they are filling out the lead capture form will automatically populate anytime I use that custom field in the future. So as a reminder, you go to settings, you go to custom map fields, you can do this on a client or project level. And the main thing is you just gotta get them to fill it out, whether it's in a questionnaire or contract or lead capture before you plan on using that information. So if you have an automated workflow with that smart field in it, um, make sure you have something in the automated workflow that requires them to fill that out first or else it will appear blank. You can use these for so many different things. Um, I absolutely love them and I think that um, you can come up with 
a lot of unique options for your own business too. So you can use venue name, event planner name, um, a date picker, which is great for, for me for invitations. Maybe I have their project date is their wedding date, but then I do a custom map field for their ideal send out date because I'm using that in their timeline as well. So let me know how you plan to use these custom map fields. Um, if you look into Dubsado, you can see a ton of more videos on my channel and you can use code design by Lini for 20% off or the link that's in the description of this video.